In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to find and copy your USDT deposit address on Binance, focusing specifically on using the BEP20 network. We'll be discussing how to do this both on the Binance mobile app and on the desktop version. I'll also talk you through some essential safety checks to ensure that your transactions are as secure as possible. Let's start with navigating the Binance website using your desktop. First, open up your web browser and go to Binance.com. If you haven't already, log into your account and make sure to complete any two-factor authentication steps to keep your account secure. Once you're logged in, hover over or click on Wallet in the upper right corner of the screen. This will give you a drop-down menu where you need to select Fiat and Spot, or you might just see Wallet depending on the version you're using. After this, click on Deposit and then select Crypto. Now we're going to locate USDT. You'll need to use the Search or Select option to find USDT on this page. Once you've selected USDT, you'll be on the Deposit page. Here, you should choose Network and then select BEP20 BSC. The deposit address will be shown to you, courtesy of the BEP20 network. It should start with 0x. From here, you have two options. You can either copy this address directly by clicking the provided copy button, or you can scan the QR code if that's more convenient for you. Before sending any significant amount to this address, it's highly advisable to send a small test amount first. Wait to confirm that this test deposit has arrived successfully in your Binance wallet. Once that's verified, you can go ahead and send the remaining balance with confidence. Now, let's address the situation of what to do if you pick the wrong network or forget a necessary memo. If this occurs, it's important to contact Binance support as quickly as you can and follow their deposit recovery steps. While it's possible to recover lost deposits due to network mistakes in some cases, it's not guaranteed and you might incur additional fees or experience delays. I recommend checking Binance's recovery FAQ for more information on this subject. Remember, always copy-paste your addresses rather than typing them out manually to avoid errors. And if you're sending USDT from a mobile wallet, using the app's QR code can help prevent copy-paste mistakes. Keep screenshots of your transactions and note down the transaction hash until your deposit is fully confirmed. For further reassurance, you can track BEP20 transfers using BSCS scan with the transaction hash. That's all for today's video. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope this guide has made it easier for you to handle USDT deposits on Binance safely and efficiently.